and the search is on. Hey, Namaskar everyone. How are you? Hopefully everybody's been doing fantastic. Listen, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. I hope you're going to stick around. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. As always, welcome back means you are going to want to know where we are and what we are doing. So, let's figure that out right now. We are in Canfield, Ohio. Last time we were in Canfield, Ohio, I took you to the largest county fair in Ohio. That is not the adventure today. It's a little bit different. We are on the search for the famous blueberry donut. So if you're ready for today's adventure, I suggest you get off the couch, you get ready, and let's go. We are right here. Right here. That is fantastic. Gotta go. <laughs> oh, shoot. Look at all of them. I think they're ready to kick my ass. Harden saliva. You're okay. You're okay. For watching my channel. Why are Jesus, God, Mamma Mia, look what we got. Shh. I said there's people still sleeping. Calm down. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. I told you she was afraid of bridges. Do not. Stop it now. That is the starting point of the trail. I guess, I don't know, you can start at the beginning or you can start at the end, I don't think it matters wh where you start at, uh, but wherever you start, that's your starting point. <laughs> oh shit! That's why I tell you, if anybody's looking for an HJ, this is the spot. Take a sip. <sighs> History. Better Malanga. So famous blueberry donut. Where would one find such a thing? Famous blueberry donut. White House Fruit Farms, of course. Yes, we are in Canfield, Ohio at White House Fruit Farms. It's actually a real farm. They have different events, and this is the first weekend of the fall harvest event. Um, it goes on to uh, till October, I believe, but it's a real working farm, and this is where we're going to find our famous blueberry donut. Yeah, this is the fall fall harvest days, I believe, is what they call this. Now. This this farm been around. Uh, it, it started out as a fruit a fruit farm. Uh, it's been around since 1815 with the Hall family, and uh, I think I read somewhere that um, when a depression came around, that they turned us into a turkey farm, and then as the family grew and different. You know, people in a family took over and, and started operating things. They brought it back into uh, a fruit farm, fruit and vegetable farm. And uh, somewhere, I think right around 1978, they converted this right here. This would have been a barn uh, into a fruit and vegetable market. And we have, we have what we have here today. Um, they have a lot of other things here too. Um, apples are probably the main core um, to the farm but they have they have strawberries they have blueberries they have peaches they have peppers pumpkins apple cider and yes donuts i think they have like over 40 different varieties of donuts the blueberry donut though is the one everybody loves it has like that crazy cult following to it um but I think I think like the the second and third generation of the Hall family run this. It's probably on the fourth generation by now. But our adventure today is I'm going to take you. Uh, we'll go into the market, and I'll show you around in there. And yeah, there it is right there. It's going on till October 22nd. Only on weekends though. Okay, only on weekends. And when it comes to the donuts, when we get inside, I show you that um, on the weekends. They don't have every variety because they could never keep up with that. But we'll walk around. There's a lake in the back. 
Um, we'll go in here. We'll go up there. That's going to be a lot of crafts up there. We'll go check out the pumpkins and such. So yeah, let's go check. Uh, let's go check it out inside. There. Yeah, everybody. Everybody coming out with the boxes of donuts. It's crazy. And they used to have. Uh, everybody gets their selfie with. It. They used to have a wooden Indian here, and somebody took it. Obviously, they have never found it. I think there was like, the last I knew, there was like a $2,000 uh, uh, reward if, if you had any information, but it was standing right there. So, some, some idiot, some jerk uh, came in and, and they, took, uh, they took the wooden Indian. It's like one of those cigar store Indians. Uh, but there's some of the family right there. Actually, if you go on Facebook or Instagram, uh, you'll see them there. But yeah, this is the market. And always, I tell you, always look up because they're going to have things hanging up. But we'll go by. We'll check some of this stuff out. Peanut butter cookies. There's the fry pies. Vegetables. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it was a couple, I don't know, maybe three or four years ago in the Youngstown Travel Guide. I actually had two of my pictures in that book um, as well. I had, uh, I took some uh, pictures of tomatoes or peppers, I believe, and then there's a truck outside that, I, that, that was in that as well that was one of mine. But yeah, there's, always look up. They always have these cool little things up here. Look at those guys right there. Here's the famous apple cider. Yeah, we'll go up and down the aisles and there's some history pictures of the old farm. I don't know who they are. I don't know, maybe that was Mr. Hall way back when, I don't know. Yeah, see right there, if you look on that sign right there, that was probably that was like during the depression era because you see all the turkeys so that's pretty cool so if you know the you're looking at the pictures and you know the backstory ah oh, i was wondering right here apples free apples they used to be they used to be up that way that's i, I almost missed them we got to thank mindy for that for uh finding the uh, box of apples. Different sauces. Different mixes. Look up there, there's a scarecrow uh, <laughs> rowing the boat up there. That's cool. And all the meats and cheeses. Yeah, it gets, I will say, during this weekend, just uh, if you haven't been here before, uh, I'm glad I could show you this. And if you have been here before uh, and just don't want to because it gets busy here, you're welcome. <laughs> so it does. It gets crazy busy here. Um, I was able to park in the front parking lots, um, but later on, it's, it's going to be way down in the grass. But uh, they have the milk, and I think they should, yeah. My favorite thing is they still have the glass, the glass, the glass bottles of milk. Some chocolate milk. Always, oh, their, their cider's really good too. They, sometimes they have a, uh, sometimes they have a little setup here. Uh, I don't know, like a quarter or something, you can get some apple cider. But here's, uh, Oh, this is, this is, I don't remember seeing this. I don't remember seeing these different uh, sites. Do you remember seeing these different? It was here last time. Oh, okay. This I is where they, they had the sample back. Yeah, this, this would have been the samples. And yeah, maybe they're not doing that this year.
good apples. I told you, apples are like, uh, just like 200 acres. It's a 200 acre farm. And uh, really good, really good apples. All the sauces. I think back here is where they make the, I think they have a cheese thing going on here too, back in there. But yeah, look at all this. We gotta go buy the vegetables so I can show you some of the vegetables, but look at boysenberry jam. <laughs> Peach preserve, apple pie preserve. Got all the peppers. Those are good. Pinks is pinks is good. Ah, uh, candies. Yeah, I, you know what? Yeah, I guess uh, they got the Halloween stuff out. Look at those. I like the color of those. Let's uh. We're gonna go. We're gonna go there. I'm gonna go around and do these vegetables. We're gonna stand in line. I gotta get some donuts. Hopefully they have them left. They go fast. They go crazy fast. Watermelon. Mmm. Those are good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a whole another section over there, which we'll get to. We'll go over there. All the peppers. right there definitely my speed yeah check that out man those are great okay we'll go down here we got some squash yeah all their produce looks really good these are my favorite acorn squash is uh, my favorite put some brown sugar and butter oh man no, I'm getting hungry. No, I'm kind of glad falls here. I'm, I'm kind of glad fall. I'm, not, I, I'm a summer guy. I like the, the, the heat. Like the, we had like 90 plus degree weather uh, the past, you know, few. I, I, I'm loving it. Was loving it. But fall time's nice with the uh, the coolness and the produce and all the events going on. Ah, there's the peaches. The peaches are really good too. Show some of the prices on them for you. Bananas. Got the green beans. Five green beans. Yeah, so there was this side. This is more the, the produce and the in the vegetables. Um Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't know if I showed you the apples, the big, the big deal apples. I I showed you the free apple, but yeah, rows and shelves of apples. Oh, there was there was the other one, the gala apple. Those those are actually my favorite apple, but these these are these were good. The ginger bowl. So yeah, you you come here, you get a free apple. Okay, let's uh let's go on to the other side. I think I'm gonna get some uh um donuts before they're gone i think they have fudge over there and such so i'll show you some of that here's some more uh history photos okay all right yeah it's neat that this was a uh it's neat that this was a turkey farm at one time up there mm. peppers these are good too I do like those ones I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time in here um, just kind of want to show you what's in here because outside is kind of where, where we really want to check out Look at those up there hmm yeah, we definitely gotta definitely gotta get in line here shortly. Got the day old donuts. All the fudge. 
Look at that one. That's a cool, that's a cool one right there. Candy corn. Oh yeah. Hello, how are you? Good. The Buckeye, that's a good one too. Yeah, they even got the pans down here. Awesome. Yeah, but we're gonna go over to the donut. Look at this, right here. This is how busy it gets. Line one, two, three, four. We're in good shape though. We're in real good shape. Um, usually there's a big line in here. It's, it's almost like a queue. It'd be like a queue at a amusement park. And sometimes they should have a, a, a little sign out here. Um, you know, if you are standing here, you know, there's an hour wait, you know, kind of like uh, the app at, at Disney World where it's, you know, blueberry donut, 90 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, very cool. But I'll show you some of the stuff up here. Here's some of the donuts they have. And I think on the weekends, they don't do all the varieties. Is that right? Yeah, you don't do all the varieties, right? So yeah, it'd be too hard. So on the weekends yeah. when you come here, don't expect to see every donut that they have. But look up there, there's a scarecrow on the bicycle up there. But yeah, check it out. And there's the famous blueberry down there. The famous uh, blueberry cult following. Those look good. Hey, what's happening? Are you making a table? I am. What's that? No, this is mine. Oh. <laughs> this is mine. All right. You got the Pez. I always like the paintings on the slate. Here's all the dried fruits and vegetables. All the nuts. I like those. I miss the boxes of, of the animal crackers. All the candies. Got some, uh, got some pop. Or soda, depending on where you're from. Me, I would say I'm gonna get some pop and I'm gonna throw it in a buggy. <laughs> so, of course. Um, She's gonna grab some soda and put in a cart. What do we got? Oh, look at this. I gotta get one. I feel like I'm in uh, Kentucky. I gotta show you the inside of here before we go to. There she go in here. I think this is like greeting cards and teas and stuff like that. And got that silo to it. All right, and uh, yeah, here's the uh, Farmer Dave. Push button to listen to Farmer Dave. Oh. Well, howdy, youngins. Stay a spell. Stretch my bones. What? How old am I? Well, I guess I'm old enough to remember when that road out front was this dirt. I remember building this barn over 100 years ago. Trees on this farm. It's still standing, just like me. Why, this barn used to be full of cows, not apples. Speaking of critters, my kin and I used to raise turkeys on this farm along with apples and peaches. What a strange yep, mix that was. about turkeys. All that hard work kept me young at heart. <laughs> We're seeing you now. All right, yeah, he mentioned the turkey. All right, so that was inside the old barn, turned into fruit and vegetable market. Um, was able to get the donuts we got the donuts and i did get some blueberry donuts so uh pretty happy check these flowers out though i'm gonna i'm walking in my truck so i can put those away uh, look at those they're called dahlias dahlias yeah they're they're nice looking you know white house is one of those places like if you were from the area and i say youngstown because i'm from youngstown but if you're from Canfield, Poland, Youngstown, Boardman, Salem, Columbiana, etc., you know, the surrounding area, and you left, 
and you came back you, you, you came back to visit everybody has that list of things that they they need to go get or see when they do come back to visit uh, some people might have Mill Creek Park on that list some people might have uh, a certain pizza shop that they not type of pizza but a certain pizza shop that they uh, want to get pizza from some people like Westgate some people like Wedgwood some people like Cornersburg etc um, but White House and I know this personally because I know quite a few people that come back to visit and they stop at White House fruit farms for a blueberry donut as a matter of fact my daughter Madison when she got married instead of a cake she had White House fruit farm blueberry donuts I told you there's a there's like this crazy cult following almost like a PBR following uh, but for the blueberry donuts so I and even even uh, the family at White House fruit farms they were amazed of, of, of that following of how crazy uh, popular the blueberry donut is. Um, I guess the, the recipe itself, the glaze, is a top secret recipe. But yeah, there's, we'll walk over there, we'll go in and out of here, but I show you a little bit of everything. I like that, that little, uh, you know, you want to take selfies that you visit here. There's the wagon over there, it says White House Fruit Farms. And this right here, I always like this tractor. Always like this one. This wasn't. This one wasn't at the Canfield Fair. But yeah, I always like this. I like the way this one looks. Yeah, I'm surprised it's not busier yet. It did open it today. It did open it. Uh, it did open at nine. Um, so it kind of still is early, I guess. But uh, yeah, this place gets it's popping man but here's the uh here's a pumpkin house which is really cool we're gonna have to walk through this but you know what i'm laughing because i see the signs here and they're everywhere on here and i always say whenever i see signs um whenever i see signs there must be a reason you had to put that sign up <laughs> so somebody must have been climbing up Pumpkins, pumpkins everywhere. Even up on top of the roof up there. <laughs> Different knickknacks. I love that story. You're creeping me out. That's funny. That's fun. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really into like the the, the metal and the tin, but. Some of these are pretty cool. Neat little idea right there. The welcome signs. All kind of mushroom, uh, mushroom decorations. I like that. It's pretty neat. Yeah, we were just, uh, where was I? I was at the uh, the old hospital in Youngstown, where uh, we found a fairy ring of mushrooms. Big game today, I believe. YSU in Ohio State. Check out this vintage. Uh, I like that. Yeah, this this is cool. I dig the uh, the vintage look. Mindy uh, just told me the news is out there. It almost sounded like she thought that I would maybe go out there and like get in the background or something. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> ah. Here's the the gourds. Oh, look at that little bat one. I like this one there. That one's cool.
Very neat. Very neat. I like that as well. And look, look, it's like the the, the Christmas pumpkin tree. And of course, you have to have your gnomes. Some bigger gourd decorations. Lit nut. This is actually turkey. Thanksgiving. Yeah, this is that fall flare right here. Oh, that's neat. I like those. And the witch's boots. I've been seeing a lot of those lately. And of course they have the Christmas section over here. I'm not big on Christmas. I mean, I'm, I don't dislike Christmas, but uh, not my favorite holiday. But that's like the the the, the Christmas card. The old time Christmas card has that Santa on it. But yeah, here's the uh, the Christmas decorations over here. And then they have the choir boards here, which I, I kind of like those. Those are kind of neat. I do like the choir boards. So yeah, there's one more section over uh, on the other side, but I figured we'll come out here and I'll show you some of these uh, pumpkins out here. So you can buy some wheat and barley and pumpkins. Check those ones out right there. We'll get a little glimpse. There's the price. Check these out. Oh, those ones are neat too, man. Wow. And the famous truck that's been sitting out here every year after year after year. This is the picture I've taken. I'm t I might have it at home, but if you look like, I'm going to say about four years ago, uh, it was in a Youngstown um, tour uh, guide. And this, uh, my picture was chosen to be in it. And it was a picture of this truck. Almost, you know what this reminds me of though? This reminds me of, uh, of Bucky's. That's what it reminds me of. But it'd be filled, it'd be filled with all the, uh, it'd be all filled with all the plush Bucky's. More pumpkins. I always, I do like the white pumpkins. I always like the white pumpkins. Hey, here's another, another tractor. Massey hair. You know, I wonder if this one was out at the fair. I don't know. That one might have been out at the fair. Uh, now, uh, some of this stuff does cost a little bit of money. Like there's there's a kid's petting zoo. I, I don't know. Maybe three bucks, maybe five bucks. I'm not sure. But uh, they have a kid's petting zoo. And over here, maybe I can get by the netting over here. Um, you can feed the budgies. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them in there. They're all flying around. They're up top there. Yes, <laughs> they're all flying around. Uh, yeah, so that's that's new to me. That's new to me. But I guess I think that was like three bucks. And you can go in there, and I think it's like, I don't know what they put, like, uh, they put maybe peanut butter with seeds on it, on a popsicle stick or something in there. So, yeah, see, it is filling up. Uh, you can park way back there. Uh, you can't see through the barn. Maybe you can. But this whole parking area, and there's, P this will fill up. All that area, this is part of their farm, but all that area back there will fill up, uh, throughout the day another little photo op over there with the white house fruit farm check these out christmas trees made out of 
old doors. Um, look at that. Wow, that's cool. That's a neat idea. I mean, I, I, not my, not my decor, but I, I like it. I do like it. I think those are pretty awesome. And here is the other side of the barn that we walked through. They have all the spooky stuff going on. Look at that, everywhere you look. That's the ceiling. Okay. Yeah, I'm, there's so much here, it's crazy. So I'll show it all. I'll show most of uh, what I can to you. I like that. This is a nice fall look right here. Nice display. Check that swing out. It's pretty neat. And you know what though? That looks cool, but I like that better. Yeah. Always look up. I like that. I like the I like the bench, but I, I do like the spider up top. That's pretty cool. But the last section, the last section that I'll show you is the lake. They have a little stage. I told you they have like events that go on. They have like music out here and such. Um, man, maybe I walk down there. They have a petting zoo down there. Yeah, there's the... Uh, there's the silo when we were inside and I showed you that the silo, it's up there, it's on the outside. Yeah, that was a real, you know, a, a real barn turned, uh, turned into uh, a uh, fruit and vegetable market. But you do your thing, you come out here, you get to sit by the lake. Yeah, they have, uh, I think this pretty much stays the same. Uh, year after year they moved some of the like tractors and stuff around but over here was always the kids area um, that I'm I'm not going to but uh, there's where I don't want to be because everybody's making noise you got the big chair over here that looks like another uh, barnyard kind of thing over there they got uh, a play area way up top you can climb through some of the tubes and stuff horse rides um yeah so a little bit of everything a little bit of everything for everyone spend a nice day here and again i think this is going on what, what was that mid-october uh only on the weekends though okay so that was white house fruit farms fall harvest days um that was our adventure today uh but the main adventure really was the search for the blueberry donut and here it is i did get a dozen donuts i got a couple blueberry donuts had to get one that's what we were searching for um they are good though they really are good um but uh I want to thank you for coming on today's adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're able to come out here and enjoy uh, the Harvest Fest as well. I want you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and until I see you on the next adventure, better Mmm.